Hi everyone, hope you're all having a good day. There's a few things that have been happening with my ants uh, that I'd like to show you today. You can see uh, this here is the Mimesia pyriformis queen and she has her first worker. You can see there's a smaller uh, worker up there against the cotton and she also has uh, already laid some more eggs. You can see there's probably around eight under the uh, worker there. So that's awesome. That is my first uh, worker from a large Mimesia species. So while I have these uh, girls out, I might as well uh, show you what I would feed them. Just a, just a little bit of honey on some baking paper. And then I also add in a little bit of roach. Kind of stuck on the end. There we go. And she'll uh, bring that in and be up to eight. There you go. She's found the uh, the roach. <laughs> you can see here. I've got uh, my Fidole colony. Um, the really big one. It's probably got over a hundred workers and probably over ten mages now which is really cool and you can see they've got a bit of a cockroach and some honey and uh, hopefully one will do it in a minute but you might see that they can walk over the honey which is uh, really interesting I thought uh, they would simply get trapped in it uh, as you might have seen them do like if they Usually when they find honey, they kind of sink into it. But uh, maybe it's because this honey is slightly crystallized, or uh, that might be the case. But hopefully we can see it, see him do it. Oh, oh there you go, see? He's walking over the honey. I've never seen him do that before. That's really interesting. And uh, if we take a look over at the uh, main colony, heaps and heaps of workers uh, maybe I might look into getting a uh, uh, acrylic nest for these guys um, maybe like a nice one from Ants Australia they make some actually really good stuff take a look at uh, these little guys this is a Melophorus species um, also known as furnace ants um, I caught these guys uh, just a couple months ago and uh, this one's got its first worker. Um, I found that Melophorus are just some of the hardest guys to raise. They lay maybe one or two eggs and then very easily either eat them or they just really slowly develop. Uh, so I'm really happy that I've got, I think I have uh, two, nearly three uh, workers in three different colonies. Um, which is really cool. Hopefully now that they have a worker, they should hopefully start to grow a little quicker into a larger colony. I don't think I've ever seen anyone with a good sized colony of Melophorus. Next up here is a little colony of Campanotus. This is a locally caught nocturnal species. Um, it's different from my large colony of Campanotus. Uh, the workers are a lot smaller, and uh, I don't believe the other one is nocturnal. Uh, you can see uh, the workers there, and the queen on the cotton to the side. I actually caught this one in the hunting for queen ants at night video. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have shown this exact queen being caught. So it's good to see that um, finally we're getting some workers from those queens that we caught. Here's a very interesting Campanotus species. 
This one is a red bodied one, and the worker is almost half the size of the last ones I've shown. Uh, this queen came from an arid area, I caught this one myself, and is the only queen of this exact species that I've managed to find. There, I have an almost identical looking queen, but the workers to these two queens are completely different. One is black and much larger, and this one is very small and has a red thorax. I find this to be a really cool colony. Um, I'm hoping that they'll one day get to a large size. Um, I'll try and provide the right conditions for them. They seem to be liking the uh, test tube setup fairly well. So I thought I'd show you some of these colonies um, just to keep you guys updated. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Um, make sure if you have any questions, uh, write it in the comments and I'll reply to you. Well, that's it. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.